The Emerald Tablets of Thoth, Tablet 8, The Key of Mysteries By Ellie Crystal August 16, 2016 Website Crystalinks.com Produced by Higher Self Unto thee, O man, have I given my knowledge. Unto thee have I given of light. Hear ye now and receive my wisdom brought from space planes above and beyond. Not as man am I for free have I become of dimensions and planes. In each, take I on a new body. In each, I change in my form. Know I now that the formless is all there is of form. Great is the wisdom of the seven. Mighty are they from beyond. Manifest they through their power, filled by force from beyond. Hear ye these words of wisdom. Hear ye and make them thine own. Find in them the formless. Mystery is but hidden knowledge. Know and ye shall unveil. Find the deep buried wisdom and be master of darkness and light. Deep are the mysteries around thee, hidden the secrets of old. Search through the keys of my wisdom. Surely shall ye find the way. The gateway to power is secret, but he who attains shall receive. Look to the light. O my brother! Open and ye shall receive. Press on through the valley of darkness. Overcome the dweller of night. Keep ever thine eyes of the light plain, and thou shalt be one with the light. Man is in process of changing to forms that are not of this world. Grows he is time to the formless, a plane on the cycle above. No ye, ye must become formless before ye are with the light. List ye, O man, to my voice, telling of pathways to light, showing the way of attainment when ye shall be one with the light. Search ye the mysteries of earth's heart. Learn of the law that exists, holding the stars in their balance by the force of the primordial mist. Seek ye the flame of the earth's life. Bathe in the glare of its flame. Follow the three-cornered pathway until thou, too, art aflame. Speak thou in words without voice to those who dwell down below. Enter the blue litten temple and bathe in the fire of all life. No, O oh man, thou art complex, a being of earth and of fire. Let thy flame shine out brightly. Be thou only the fire. Wisdom is hidden in darkness. When lit by the flame of the soul, find thou the wisdom and be light born, a son of the light without form. Seek thee ever more wisdom. Find it in the heart of the flame. Know that only by striving and light pour into thy brain. Now have I spoken with wisdom. List to my voice and obey. Tear open the veils of the darkness. Shine a light on the way. Speak I of ancient Atlantis, speak of the days of the kingdom of shadows, speak of the coming of the children of shadows. Out of the great deep were they called by the wisdom of earth men, called for the purpose of gaining great power. Far in the past before Atlantis existed, men there were who delved into darkness, using dark magic, calling up beings from the great deep below us. Forth came they into this cycle. Formless were they of another vibration, existing unseen by the children of earth men. Only through blood could they have formed being. Only through man could they live in the world. In ages past were they conquered by masters, driven below to the place whence they came. But some there were who remained, hidden in spaces and plains unknown to man. Lived they in Atlantis as shadows, but at times they appeared among men. I, when the blood was offered, for they came they to dwell among men. In the form of man they amongst us, but only to sight were they as our men. Serpent-headed when the glamour was lifted but appearing to man as men among men. Crept they into the councils, taking forms that were like unto men. Slaying by their arts the chiefs of the kingdoms, taking their form and ruling over men. Only by magic could they be discovered. Only by sound could their faces be seen. Sought they from the kingdom of shadows to destroy man and rule in his place. 
but, no yeah, the masters were mighty in magic, able to lift the veil from the face of the serpent, able to send him back to his place. Came they to man and taught him the secret, the word that only a man can pronounce. Swift then they lifted the veil from the serpent and cast him forth from the place among men. Yet, beware, the serpent still liveth in a place that is open at times to the world. Unseen they walk among thee in places where the rites have been said. Again as time passes onward shall they take the semblance of men. Called may they be by the master who knows the white or the black, but only the white master may control and bind them while in the flesh. Seek not the kingdom of shadows, for evil will surely appear. For only the master of brightness shall conquer the shadow of fear. Know ye, yeah, O oh my brother, that fear is an obstacle great. Be master of all in the brightness, the shadow will soon disappear. Hear ye and heed my wisdom, the voice of light is clear. Seek not the valley of shadow, and light will only appear. List ye, yeah, O oh man, to the depth of my wisdom. Speak I of knowledge hidden from man. Far have I been on my journey through space-time, even to the end of space of this cycle. I, glimpsed the hounds of the barrier, lying in wait for he who would pass them. In that space where time exists not, faintly I sensed the guardians of cycles. Move they only through angles. Free are they not of the curved dimensions. Strange and terrible are the hounds of the barrier. Follow they consciousness to the limits of space. Think not to escape by entering your body, for follow they fast the soul through angles. Only the circle will give ye protection, save from the claws of the dwellers in angles. Once, in a time past, I approached the great barrier, and saw on the shores where time exists not, the formless forms of the hounds of the barrier. I, hiding in the midst beyond time I found them, and they, scenting me afar off, raised themselves and gave the great bell cry that could be heard from cycle to cycle and moved through space toward my soul. Fled I then fast before them, back from time's unthinkable end. But ever after me pursued they, moving in strange angles not known to man. I, on the grey shores of time-space's end found I the hounds of the barrier, ravening for the soul who attempts the beyond. Fled I through circles back to my body. Fled, and fast after me they followed. I, after me the devourers followed, seeking through angles to devour my soul. I, know ye man, that the soul who dares the barrier may be held in bondage by the hounds from beyond time, held till this cycle is completed and left behind. When the consciousness leaves, entered I my body, created the circles that know not angles, created the form that from my form was formed, made my body into a circle and lost the pursuers in the circles of time. But, even yet, when free from my body, cautious ever must I be not to move through angles, else my soul may never be free. No yet, the hounds of the barrier move only through angles and never through curves of space. Only by moving through curves can ye escape them, for in angles they will pursue thee. O man, heed ye my warning, seek not to break open the gate to beyond. Few there are who have succeeded in passing the barrier to the greater light that shines beyond. For know ye, ever the dwellers, seek such souls to hold in their thrall. Listen, O man, and heed ye my warning, seek ye to move not in angles but curves, and if while free from thy body, thou hearest the sound like the bay of a hound ringing clear and bell-like through thy being, flee back to thy body through circles, penetrate not the midst mist before. When thou hath entered the form thou hast dwelt in, Use thou the cross and the circle combined. Open thy mouth and use thou thy voice. Utter the word and thou shalt be free. Only the one who of light has the fullest can hope to pass by the guards of the way. And then must he move through strange curves and angles that are formed in direction not known to man. List ye, O man, and heed ye my warning, 
attempt not to pass the guards on the way. Rather should ye seek to gain of thine own light and make thyself ready to pass on the way. Light is thine ultimate end, O my brother. Seek and find ever the light on the way.